Do you feel that uh, the assist has increased your mileage and increased oh, your workout? Absolutely, yeah, you can, you can have all the workout you want. You know, I mean, you can. Thank you guys for being here for episode one of My Camera Guy Garrett. Holy cow. Thank you guys for being here for episode one where I share my time from around 11.30 to 1.30 with Garrett, a good friend of mine that takes his hand, his right hand to the camera and his left hand to a microphone. And I've got a lapel mic on my shirt, as you'll see in this footage. It was easy for me. Garrett did all the work today. Thanks for joining us today, Garrett. <laughs> Media guy, man. No problem. Appreciate that, dude. <laughs> We're out here at the Terra Lake Village Golf Course. We're gonna shoot nine holes today. I really just wanted to open up the body. We've got some stress just built in the neck. What better way to open it up than some vitamin D and some freshen out here? So good for the back to just, you know, especially as a tall guy that lingers over a keyboard and a mouse to edit these videos for you guys. Edit. The hunch life. The hunch <laughs> life. Bad posture life, man. <laughs> the hunchback of yeah. Clear Lake Park. <laughs> the, the hunchback plays Tail Lake Village Disc Golf Course. Dude, my wife and I were watching that movie the other day, The Hunchback wow. of Notre Dame, the old Disney one, man. That is a very adult film. The villain, Frollo, he, uh, the gist of it is he, he hates this, these gypsies because he really wants to pork the brains out of some gypsy woman or whatever. And yeah. She, she won't have them, so he's like, I'm just going to fucking kill her instead if she can't be mine. And really? I'm like, this is a Disney movie from the 90s, man. Is that really the case? That's, that's, that's the fucking plot, man. That's it's the real, plot of the movie. He, he, at the end, he says to Esmeralda, what does he say? Uh, he says, choose me or the fire. How and fucked it, up is that? In a groggly voice. Yeah, I mean, he's, like, kind of, he's kind of got a deep authoritarian voice in the first place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Things really filled in since I've last been here. Holy cow. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with something understable, Spring actually. Sprung, you might say. We're going to go with a culverin here. A little understable, but mostly stable. <laughs> now, see, I turned it over there. I didn't give it a chance to stand up on itself, right? Followed that line. But anyway, let's see as we walk up the fairway. How do you feel about those Disney movies in there? I their... feel like the 90s were a weird time for Disney, man. You know, there were a lot of adult themes in their films back then. You know, I was into Pocahontas, so I get that. Oh, yeah. Missed that like crazy. So we're out here playing disc golf, but what I love about it, guys, is that we're just so ADD here on the Joshua Q channel. We don't really care, <laughs> you know? How's it going, man? Hey, how about yourself? Doing well. I left one of my discs over here. Oh, nice, man. I was like, holy cow, how did you manage to slip all the way up this fairway without even me even hearing it, man? Was that your drive, though, that was lost over here? Hey, nice drive, man. Stepping into hole two here at the Tail Lake Village Golf Course, disc golf course, and by no means are we experts of the sport. We're just here to enjoy and have a good time, talk about Disney. <laughs> I appreciate that Garrett brings that up because there's an intrinsic point there that you had mentioned. Is there potential that Disney movies influence future romantic partner attraction? I think it's possible. Welcome to Taylor Lake Disc Golf Course. We just need to pull in our stroke here, because if we're able to do that, we're gonna have a you know beautiful round. I'm gonna actually whip out my PDGA 2021 dish. Shout out to the PDGA and this beautiful uh, turn. Let's see how beautiful it really is. Is this turtle in the currents of the ocean, or is it bogged down in a coral reef with a flat tire? About to find out. <sighs> no, we turned it over. That's not gonna have a chance of coming back. So, <laughs> Joshua Cube plays disc golf. Didn't say Joshua Cube played disc golf good. <laughs> I'm sprinting. Goodbye, Garrett. He's running. <laughs> Way over the top. Not even close. I've been eating my Wheaties since I last played disc golf, so my calibration is just all out of whack. Oh yeah, man, that fiber will fuck you up. All those is audio disturbances, so happy to have a camera guy that can fixate on what's actually causing this ruckus. Happy to uh, have them gone now. Happy to have them. Tax dollars at work right there to some degree. I like to think that my tax dollars go right to aircrafts and right to the cool shit, you know? Well, they do. That's where most That's where most of our money goes is to the defense industry. We're America. That's why we're the best. And that's great. And I love sidewalks too, though. But Thank you, government. <laughs> th thank you, government. Honest. Been okay, doing a lot of sidewalks around here lately. Actually, it's pretty nice. There's a lot of development going on in this area. You know, Garrett and I were talking on the way here prior to being on camera. The development in this area has really gone from kind of a sleeper, yeah, sleepy suburb, and now it's really awoken. It's really awoken into into what it is now. More of a cramped suburb, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so. We're having issues with that wrist turnover, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna throw a felon here. 
But a felon is very overstable disc, so this disc should want to fight back to stand up on itself, unless, of course, I turn it over, like, tragically, you know? And it should skip up. We're gonna go on the back side of these trees, but then it's gonna hook over into the right, but hopefully by the basket guy. Not quite, we got in the gully though over there. Into the gully. So that disc, you know, stands up on itself for us. I literally threw that the exact same way, rolled my wrist probably worse than the previous two shots, but those previous two discs were a bit understable, so they're a little unsure, you know? They wake up in the morning and, you know, do they do they drink coffee or tea? They, they're definitely tight tea types. You can tell by the look of them. Yeah, just the way that they just meander down the fairway there, Garrett. <laughs> Lazy ass tea sipping discs. <laughs> but it looks real nice out here. And I like the little wooded area we were golfing through there earlier. That was pretty nice. Well, I've never been to a disc golf course since uh, maybe like seven years ago or so. So this is fun. Yeah, I know. And I like how you said golfing through. That, that made me feel good and prestigious. The little wooded area we were golfing through there. That, that made me feel good and prestigious. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can land the first birdie of the day here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Joshua Piggy is now going to attempt to throw a disc into a, oh, Oh my. Oh. His conversion rate on putts has just been terrible today. <laughs> Howdy. Beautiful operation. Beautiful bike. Is it? <laughs> hey, I, I film a documentary. Do you, do you mind sharing a little bit with me about the bike? Yeah, I'm just going to get close. So uh, let me actually, let me borrow this here. Would you mind holding this for me when you speak? Yeah. Goes a long way for my post editing. Yeah. If I just, uh, you know how to use a mic, a little closer. Uh, I absolutely, there we go. I hey. actually do, so. Hey, so uh, what's your name? I'm Tom. Tom. Hey, Tom, tell me about your operation here. Well, it's a, it's a Rad Rover bike. You can buy them uh, on the internet. And, uh... They're wonderful, they're competitively priced, yeah. and uh, they, they, they ship them to you, you put the front wheel on, the handlebars, and away you go. Really? The bolts so. are tight? Well, you, well to some degree. a couple of bolts, yeah. Did you give it there. a quality control, or did you trust it from the factory? Well, you, you, can ha you can hire a quality control person to come out and put it together for you. Really? You on location? Yourself. Yeah, on location. Come was right that was that a service that was offered at checkout? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so it's offered at checkout. For rad power bikes? Yeah. And, and it's electric at all? Yeah. Yeah, it's a power assist, electric assist. Wow. I've got 540 miles on it already, so. Yeah, and how long have you owned the device? Uh, I've had it for about uh, five months. Five months, and so, yeah, so you've been getting after it. I'm getting out a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel that uh, the assist has increased your mileage and increased oh, your workout? Absolutely, yeah, you can you can have all the workouts you want. You know, I mean, you can. It's adjust your, like, like, yeah. I'm on assist one right now, so it goes one through five. And then you've got seven gears, I think, in the back there, and I just, uh, yeah, you know. Did I get your name? When Tom. I, Tom. Tom. Yeah. And I told you I was Joshua, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I get distracted by bikes. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This is well. I, I grew up racing BMX. You know, uh -huh. I, I grew up riding nothing but BMX. All right. And yeah. that's still when I go look at bikes, it's still just a magnet. Uh -huh. But then I see something like this, and I see that my back hurts, and that I probably need to not throw myself down a flight of stairs anymore. Right. Right. And that's the thing. You can pedal as hard as you want. I get a great workout. You know, I'm yeah. going out doing 10, 15, 20 miles. So. Hey, when you were checking out on their website, did you notice like Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as an uh, option? And that was episode one of My Camera Guy Garrett, which as you can tell in the end of the episode is actually in alliance with our What the Bitcoin series. This is actually the prologue for chapter two of What the Bitcoin, which is going to feature episode 21 through episode 40. We have chapter one right now on our channel, which is episode one through episode 20 of What the Bitcoin, where I go and I just my way in society as best as I for us guys outside of the media, which is always going to pedal this side or that side. Let's see the middle side, which is society's side. Thank you guys so much for being here. As always, before you exit, I ask that you like this content, comment on this content, and subscribe. If you are this deep into the video, you should really drop a subscription for me. It would go a long, long, long way. Thank you guys again for being here. I look forward to bringing you the rest of this content that I filmed with my camera guy, Garrett, today, tomorrow, and the rest of the interview from Tom. Until then, you guys stay safe and you stay tuned.